Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to take you through the steps in designing a simple G logo in the Infinite Design app. I thought I'd let Cortana do the narration since I don't have a microphone yet. I hope that is cool with you. I actually recorded the whole process but it didn't save so this is going to be a walkthrough of the finished design with examples where necessary. So let's get to it. So as of the time of recording this, Infinite Design doesn't have a very decent grid system and snapping options so we're going to create our own grids and guides as you can see here. First, ensure that you have the ballpoint brush active, then select the line tool in the docked tools panel. Draw a perfectly horizontal line. Then select the duplicate tool and make four copies of the line. With the Move tool select all the lines and distribute them evenly on the vertical axis. Next up, we are going to align them all to the center and group them to form a single unit. Use the duplicate tool again to create a copy of this unit. Use the move tool to rotate the copy perpendicularly to the original. extra three horizontal lines to get eight line in total for the horizontal grid lines. Next, we have to create the big circle of dimension 4 squares by 4 squares of the grid.
Select the lasso tool brush from the brush panel and select the circle tool. Draw a circle and use the edit tool to align it to the right dimension mentioned. Change the color to yellow or any preferred color. With the same procedure create a smaller circle of dimension 2 squares by 2 squares. Create 5 copies of it with the duplicate tool and arrange them on the grid as shown here. Make sure the circles are all of different colors. Next. Create two rectangles of dimensions 2 squares by 1 square of the grid lines each and arrange them as shown here. Make sure all the shapes created have different colors and their opacity lowered for the next part to work correctly. Now here's the fun part, we're going to use the segment tool to cut out portions we don't need in our shapes to create the G logo. This is similar to using the shape builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. Now select all the shapes left and set them to a color of your choice and their opacity back to a 100%.
off any other layer not needed like the grid lines and there you have your logo. If you enjoyed this video kindly give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for future uploads. Thank you for watching. Cortana is out. Peace. Now this is why I made Cortana do it. Crappy audio. <laughs>